Honestly, I'm excited to talk about my girlfriend. I see. Because that's like the next phase. We've been talking about having being single for the longest time. And then when we finally get a girlfriend, we're gonna not talk about it? Oh, but I don't know how I would- Alright guys, Dr. Oh, Yu, no. Dr. Yu and Boo <laughs> YouTube channel coming soon. <laughs> Oh, is that? Going to the viewers. Hello, yeah. 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 Jay Bro. Thank you. Today's episode is going to be Korean. Oh, yeah. Jay Bro Club, everyone. We're going to be doing it. Jason, is there something you haven't told us about? <laughs> <laughs> we want to know. Yes, there is something I haven't told you guys about. And I haven't told you either. We're a thing. <laughs> Honestly, I don't even think people would be surprised if it was yeah. so bad this way. <laughs> so like, so every, other, every other day we got a comment, you guys gay? Yeah. <laughs> How comfortable are you revealing private details of your life? You'll find out. Stay tuned. This topic arose when we were talking about whether we would post significant other and those private details online. I think, personally, I would not. What's, what's your stance? Depends. Depends. Yeah. It depends. What are we trying to get at today, though? Are we, are we saying, like, is it a good idea too? Is it a bad idea too? Or are we not? Well, I think people have this idea that, um, <laughs> or some people have this idea that we're, like, perpetually single. That <laughs> oh, that's how we were talking about it. Yeah. Oh, okay. Ah, yeah, okay, okay. Now okay. I remember. Now I remember. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, this topic arose because some of my old friends were like, are you guys staying singles because the channel is based on single content? Yeah and like kind of the branding uh -huh. has organically come about that way. I mean, we have a whole series of um, videos called being 30 and single. Right. So then if you lose that singlehood, uh -huh. are you now less relevant? Well, I think we're already not relevant <laughs> to begin with. <laughs> we're not in that category, but it brings up an interesting question. In the age of social media now, would you post uh, details of your private life like your significant other? Or is it better to not? And for what reasons? It's, it's so complicated. It's like so multifaceted. Wait, so, let me ask you, would you uh, start a YouTube channel with your significant other, let's say when you're married? I think that'd be fun. Yeah? Yeah. Okay. Because marriage is a... I, I mean, we've talked about marriage before. Yeah, I yeah. think mar at that point, you should you're pretty much rock solid, hopefully. Yeah, yeah. But in the early stages... Yeah. Where would you draw that line? Like when um, I can reveal my significant other to public. I thought about doing it mm -hmm. in my last relationship. Mm -hmm. And then now that we're not together, I'm actually glad that I didn't. I see. I mean, what are the pros and cons? What are the pros and cons of posting a significant other on social media? I think for some, it gives them like a sense of validation. Oh, that's so true though. Yeah. That is very true. Yeah, it's oh, like, you yeah, know, they want right, to right, post right. about hashtag ah, relationship goals. I see, I see, I see. Um, especially... Well, they won't use that, but like people will say relationship yeah, yeah, goals. Yeah, 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 yeah. It could be like feel good stories yeah, too. Yeah, Actually, yeah, it doesn't yeah. always have to be show. Yeah, yeah. Like, um, you know, my husband went out of his way to like, he had a long day at work. Yeah. He still came home and like played with the kids. Or, yeah, yeah. That's, that's awesome. Those like heartwarming stories. Yeah, yeah. But then it sets a precedent. It sets like a standard. Mm -hmm. Oh, shoot. My guy didn't do that? <laughs> or like... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Now the guys see it too. Oh yeah, crap, yeah, 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 oh crap. Yeah. I, maybe I should be doing that for yeah, too. Yeah, it's like a way of flex. It is a, it's like, it is a subtle flex. Yeah, and then you notice in certain Korean dramas, like oh, when, yeah. when women have gathering, <laughs> it's true, like true, they true. always like try to show off their boyfriends or oh, significant you're right, other. You're right, you're right. Whereas guys would never do that. We don't, yeah, we don't generally yeah, yeah. care about that. As long as she's good to us. Yeah, yeah, as long as she's good to us. Oh, you're right. So let's say that because that's coming from a showy and potentially bad place. Yeah, so yeah. we're talking about it in a bad context. Yeah, yeah. What about then by not posting, are you losing out on something? I think like social media in general. Yeah. Uh, there's like two motives in my opinion. Yeah. It's either to sort of uh, show expression of your feelings or uh -huh. thoughts uh -huh. or artistic like creativity. Or there's the other hand, like people just kind of show off like their life and maybe in between. Okay, some sort of yeah. sentimental value. Yeah, but we can't fault people for like, you know, being proud of their significant others either. That is true too. Dude, dude, <laughs> yo, my, uh, one of my friends from, um, from school, he got in a fight. He got like a six, he was in a six hour phone call with his girlfriend. Yeah. I was like, dude, what was that about? <laughs> and he's like, he's like, oh, like I didn't post a picture of her recently on her Instagram. He's never posted something or he's never posted something recently. I don't think he posted in general. Like, ever. But he doesn't use Instagram that much. 
<laughs> he just doesn't. He just, he's just like he doesn't care. Yeah, but she does. But she does. But so she then does. the next day he posts a picture. <laughs> I was like, does that bother you that she like got in a fight with you over that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like. I mean, it's something simple for me to do, yeah, so I don't yeah, care, yeah. but like, yeah. I don't know if it warranted a six-hour fight. But if you're proud to be with someone, I post, I mean, not that we're dating, but I, yeah. I tag you in everything. I post, <laughs> I post uh, stories of us all the time. Yeah. And actually, when I don't post for a long time, some people actually message me, hey, is everything okay with you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, some people we're, are like, is Jago disbanded, right? <laughs> yeah. like, like, why aren't you guys like, so then I'm sure that happens mm -hmm. when people are looking at your profile. Yeah. They start now assuming things. Yeah. Oh, they must maybe they, they're not together anymore. Yeah. If they see like a three month break with no photos. Yeah. Or who's this other girl from a year ago? Why is <laughs> why is she still on there? Do you archive that? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Dude, there was a girl. There's a girl with Instagram profile. Yeah, she didn't archive any of her exes. Oh, I know Thank some you. people that does that. Because I think for her, that was a that was a um, her social media is an archive yeah. of her memories. Yeah. But then it doesn't look good for the like, new, the new guy yeah. because it just looks like he's the new guy. Yeah, from, yeah. He doesn't wear that. She has a six a history of like yeah, six other yeah. dudes. So any any you don't you never want to be reminding of your partner's past partners. Yes, talking about it is different, but yeah. seeing like her at the the date yeah and like the caption like oh like yeah. my boo like oh good yeah. I don't know about that <laughs> right but then you know a secure guy wouldn't care yeah yeah but still it's like do you want to leave all that history yeah no I, I think that's personally i think that's a really bad idea you know i think what's in the past to stay in the past especially something like that okay out of respect for the new person for the old and the new person oh uh, okay or at least that's how i how i view it for the old and the new person yeah so then in that case, if you were to post something about her now and you're not with her next year, you would archive everything? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> really? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, for real? Yeah. Ah, interesting. I mean, I, I guess it will be more for the new person, but it would also protect the privacy of the old person as well from the new person. Oh, dude, we're getting into like a lot of like... Uh, yeah, yeah. Because that can affect... Yeah. That could affect the new person in the relationship. Yeah. Like, why would you want to leave traces of that for like the, your new partner, like to go scope and like try to like understand who this person was? Uh, um, or like be reminded of like the special moments that you I had. See. When people are happy for you, mm -hmm. I think that's, that's not harmful to anybody. Right? Mm -hmm. When people are happy for you, yeah. it's not harmful. But when people start to pity or <laughs> sympathize, I feel bad that they yeah. feel bad for me. Yeah. <laughs> So I don't want people to know what if I'm going through like a extreme hardship. Mm -hmm. I kind of want to deal with this myself. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think when you're in the public eye mm -hmm. on your personal life, like it affects you per like emotionally and mentally. Uh -huh. Even though like, you know, your life actually matters absolutely nothing to that person who's viewing it, but it affects you like in sort of a weird way. I don't know how to describe that because like you're thinking about others perception of you right and i think if you just don't want to worry about that yeah and you're just like a private person right i don't think you should be pressured to post content on social media that's a good that's a good point the pressure i don't think you should ever feel pressured to do yeah. anything period but then i'm thinking about like in the event that it goes south yeah then have you created a bigger obstacle for yourself mm -hmm. Yeah, oh, it's very complicated. I don't do honestly. I don't know. So, guys, what do you think? Is uh, have you dealt with this situation? Where I, I know you guys. Yeah, I know you. Do you feel like you have booth? to post? Do you want to post and not think about the consequences? Or have you already dealt with those consequences? Is it a good idea? I don't know, man. Or do you just not even think about it? Period. True. True. Some people actually know. Right. They just yeah. live in the moment. Yeah, just live in the moment. And then okay, it, that was part of my life. Yeah. I don't know. Honestly, I don't know. This is like one of the. <laughs> <laughs> Usually I have like a stance on something, but this yeah. one, I don't know. And I think it goes back to like this like whole uh, thing about like how private do you want your relationship to be? Okay, so um, there's something else that we haven't told you that we kind of want to clear up here. Mm -hmm. Besides the fact that we're not dating mm -hmm. each other. <laughs> is that we talk a lot about on YouTube relationships, dating, yeah. love, um, being single as fuck. Yeah. And the reality is it doesn't occupy our minds that much. Like it's it's to a degree where it's kind of shameful almost. It like, is. That it we're is. Even talking about these topics. I don't know if it's shameful. It's just not an accurate reflection. Y yeah. And then yeah. it makes us seem like we're obsessed with this. But then we kind of created this uh, 
branding. <laughs> branding. Like, he's like single, lonely channel. single guys in New York City. <laughs> like literally half of our <laughs> single and 30, like being lonely. Why can't we find a girlfriend? We're breaking yeah, up. A commitment. Right. We do prioritize content that will at least be of some value, whether uh -huh. it's like relatable yeah. or or offering perspective, like uh -huh. you said. Yeah. But the reality is we don't even think about that. Yeah, that's true. Which is probably why we're not even that good at it. <laughs> <laughs> I, I think we're making, we're good about making light-hearted content out of it. I don't want this channel to be about dating mm. and relationship. I want this channel to be more about discussing the dichotomy between the two sexes and how we think on different things. Okay. What, what's the word? Like, enhancing? Uh. What, what's the word for it? Enhancing. Uh, mentally enhancing. Anyway, there's a word for it. Viagra? <laughs> mental Viagra. It's, it's a mental Viagra. Your brain is erect. <laughs> yeah. And um, yeah, we want to thank you guys for leaving such insightful comments. If we could go through every single one and respond to all of them, we would. We'd but, read them. But and then we, we definitely we'd select, read every you know. single comment. So um, yeah, in future episodes, if we do decide to disclose private details, I think that could be juicy and fun. Yeah. If I disclose it, then you have yeah. to. Yeah. Maybe our, our channel would benefit from it. <laughs> Honestly, I'm excited to talk about my girlfriend. Oh, if really? I, if I get one, yeah. I see. Because that's like the next phase. We've been talking about having being single for the longest time. And then when we finally get a girlfriend, we're gonna not talk about it? Oh, but I don't know how I would... Alright guys, Dr. Oh, you, no. Dr. you and Boo <laughs> YouTube channel coming soon. Wait, so, well, hold on. Make sure to subscribe when it comes Wait, out. Wait, maybe I'll change my mind. I don't know. In the screen Wait, here. Wait, isn't it a good picture. idea, guys? Speaking of like the past dating videos. Yeah, yeah, yeah. If this video, uh. let's say gets 5k likes. Okay. Would you go on a video date? <laughs> a video date? A real yeah. date, bro. Oh Shit. I'm not doing on video dates, bro. I don't do that. Okay. Come a on, real man. date. 5k likes on this video. You would do it. Yeah, I'll do it. Okay. Oh, you heard it here first. Wait, how many?